Digital products are an amazing way to make passive income online. They are cheap to make. They have high margins when you sell them. You can make them one time and sell them many, many times over. There's no overhead or supplies to keep in your home or your office to send out. There's unlimited growth potential because you're not having to fulfill orders. This is a great way to make passive income and that creates freedom in your life. So let's talk about the types of digital products you could make and earn an income from. We will be looking at Etsy since it's a great source to find digital product ideas to sell. Birthday invitations. This is one that is super, super popular, especially for little kid birthday parties. I know all of my friends use Etsy to find themed birthday invitations and this is a digital product you can make and sell and people buy and then either you customize or do a template for them so that they can customize it at home. That way you have less work and it's a great source of passive income because you make it once and then tons of people who have birthday parties will buy it and download it and pay you for creating the product. Checklists and trackers are a great digital product that you can sell online, especially if you are making checklists for a specific type of either need or a type of service. For example, there are a lot of cleaning checklists online because people don't necessarily know where to start or enjoy cleaning. So having a checklist where they can knock stuff off is helpful. If you are, for say, a wedding planner, you could make a full wedding planning checklist that would help people as well. Next up is clip art. This is a great thing to design because you can sell it to fellow designers and fellow digital product creators who will then use it in their products for selling something else. So you can create all sorts of designs for clip art in different styles and for different uses. So you can create all sorts of different clip art that can be used both commercially and for personal use. Next up is digital papers. These are a design type that you can create for scrapbooking digitally or other creators use them in creating their own SVG files or any other kind of clip art. Generally, you can make these in a cute style or pattern and sell them for personal or commercial use and they sell pretty well. Next is ebooks. If you have any knowledge on any topic, you can probably write an ebook and sell it on any platform. You can sell it on Etsy or your own website or Kindle. You can also sell ebooks of templates or checklists, things that help someone accomplish a goal and walk them through the process. You can also sell an ebook template that helps other ebook creators sell their ebooks. So you can either sell an ebook or help sell other ebooks for people. There's a huge market for either way, Excel templates. This is something that is huge because a lot of people are not good at Excel, but they want to use it. So having a template makes it a lot easier. I personally use these when I need to do something with Excel and don't know how to do it. And there are lots of different templates you can do. You can do a budgeting related one. You can do one for a business planner. You can do one for expenses. You can do them for all sorts of different things. I think bookkeeping and budget templates for Excel do the best on Etsy. So those are great digital product ideas. Next holiday cards. These are for sure a purchase around certain holidays like Christmas. I have a ton of friends that send holiday cards every year around Christmas time. So some are ones they design themselves, but some are ones I've seen on Etsy. So there are a lot of buyers for this particular type of card if you are willing to make it and sell it as a digital download. Next, you can create invitation templates. So like the graduation invitations, there are invitations to all sorts of parties. The key one on Etsy specifically is wedding related events and there are a ton of invitation ideas that you can create for people so that they can just buy your product digitally change it up with the names and then download and print at home. You can also create and sell as a digital download other party decor. This works really well if you are theming a party and you can create banners but then also create printables for cupcake toppers or for signs for the party. You can create a whole package for the party where everything matches in a certain theme or style. 
This is a great option because people that are not great at crafting but want to do a cute, fun themed birthday party for their kids will buy a whole package with everything they need to print off for a party. Similarly, you can do party invitations as a printable download. These are a way you can do them either as a template that people can edit on their own or again as a printable that you then edit and personalize for them or get the service that you're using to provide either Etsy or another to personalize for you. This is something that works so well when you're doing themed parties. I cannot emphasize enough how great these digital downloads do. People have built whole shops around them and do really well if you have a design. Next are printable games. These are so popular for parties like bridal showers or bachelorette parties. They are a really popular thing to buy and you can design this as a printable game or a set of games that people can buy and use at a party. They are something that you can design once and sell over and over again, which of course is the greatest part of creating digital download products. This is something that is super easy to make as well because it's usually just a checklist. Shower invitations. There are a ton of different showers, bridal showers, baby showers, all sorts of showers, especially if you're Southern like I am. There are all sorts of parties related to these big life events. So you can make shower invitations for the special events and then people can download and edit them themselves. You can use any of the programs that allow you to do that. This is another addition that I would put in a wedding related shop. Next up, social media templates. This is very similar to some of the other ideas, but you can make social media templates for people to create their own cohesive look across different social media platforms. So you can create a template for multiple different types of social media like blogging or Facebook or social or Instagram. There are all sorts of options. Next up are SVG files. These are so popular and possibly my favorite digital download idea because there are a ton of people that have cutting machines but don't know how to design the files to cut but they love to be creative and make things. So if you can create the design and an SVG of that design, you can sell these like hotcakes. They are amazing. Next up are wedding invitations. Everyone knows that wedding invitations can be expensive, so a lot of people will buy a template or a printable wedding version so that they can take their invitation and print it at a local shop to get a cheaper overall price. Therefore, these are a great idea for a digital download because you can create something that is the entire wedding suite and then sell it over and over because there are new brides every year. Next, wedding signs. This is an awesome digital download idea because it is something that brides want to look cute but don't necessarily want to put a lot of time into and they often think about at the last minute so they don't have time to order a physical sign. So having a printable digital download that they can print and then just throw in a frame is a great option. So next idea is workbooks. If you know how to guide someone through a process of how to achieve a certain result, you can do a workbook on that. You can also do educational workbooks and things that will help children either learn a skill or learn a certain grade or preschool activity workbooks like this one. There are all sorts of workbook ideas that are basically just activity sheets all put together. So that's a huge list but hopefully gives you something to sell. I would recommend checking copyright and know that it's okay to experiment with different styles and types of products till you find what works for your shop. I would always promote your items to make sure that you have the best chance to make sales possible and remember that this is all about creating passive income and freedom.